man. So really, I just want to respond to this post that Makeup Monster left over there on <clears throat> Science Girls Chat. Excuse me, I'm trying to wake up. It's five in the morning. Uh, I'm going to break this down just a little bit, okay? First of all, Makeup Mobster wants to start out with incorrect info being given out at the first five minutes of the live, start, starting with CPS being called. CPS was called, okay? But if you want to make it as if Dumpy Dump just called CPS, that would be better than Dumpy Dump calling the police department. All right? Because if she was worried about my kids so much, oh my God, there's things going on in the house and I just thought he was doing something to those kids. Then she would have called CPS. But she tried to call the, she called, she talked to the, she sent it over to the police special victims unit. Right? She says, that's not what happened. So a little bit, she's trying to stick up and make it look like uh, that's not what happened. Okay, so we'll, we'll break that down for you. She called the police, emailed the police instead, which is worse than just calling CPS. Because it shows that she had no concern for my children. It was just revenge. Duh. And then, okay, so Makeup Mobster uploads this call. And it's got Tiffany and Makeup Mobster and Dumpy Dump in it. In that call, they're talking about the truth. They're talking about serendipity, how they need to keep her. They're talking about all kinds of ways to get at Brian, right? Including my, making money on YouTube, my apartment complex, my job. They were talking about all that on the call, all of them. And MM knows this. Now, let me tell you the reason why that call came out. Because they found out that at the bottom of the report, the detective told Karina, because she didn't want her name on it. She didn't want her real name on it. And the detective told her that it wouldn't go on it. But it did go on it. And we would know who, I knew who Karina was Dumpy Dump. I knew that at that time. I knew who that was, right? So, with her name being on the bottom of the report, and Rel and MM and Tiffany over there talking with Dumpy Dump, if her name on, is on the bottom of the report, then it could be led to those other people. Right? So, that's why Makeup Mobster uploaded that call. To make it look like she didn't have anything to do with it. Then she, then she told everybody, after she uploaded that video, that she backed off from Dumpy Dump. And this was right before the CPS call. All right? She said she backed off from Dumpy Dump. All right? But if you backed off from Dumpy Dump, how would you know she emailed the detective? How would you know she sent him links to the videos? How would you, how would, how would you know that? How would you know she emailed the detective as opposed to just calling? How would you know she did that? Because you were still talking to her afterwards. That's why. That's why. You said you cut yourself off from her. Then how would you know this? And she's saying right here, a lot of us listening, a lot of us listening is just saying, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, mm -hmm. no, <laughs> no. You engaged. The one that was going, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, was Tiffany. I could kind of tell that Tiffany was uncomfortable in that call. She wasn't encouraging Dumpy Dump. You were. You were saying, oh, yeah, she's definitely abused. His wife, yeah, she's definitely abused. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. My wife, if you would tell my wife that her husband was abusing her to her face, my wife would abuse you. So, it really just seems like Makeup Monster knows way too much about it, how it happened for somebody that cut herself off from Dumpy Dump. Nobody, you know, she said she emailed the detective, she sent him links to the videos and blah, 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 blah. Well, how come nobody got a hold of me? 
Mickey Mouse has never got a hold of me. And then Pug says, Pug said somewhere, and I commented under it. First, Pug said they came to my son's house first, which she was wrong on that. And then she said, well, I'm trying to remember what she said. Let me, let me get it right here. I don't remember where the post is. I'll go back to that at some other time when I remember it. But uh, Pugs gets things wrong all the time, so it doesn't matter. As far as I'm concerned, you know, makeup officer was always in cahoots with her. I, I think the only one that backed away from all of it was Tiffany. Makeup monster said she didn't want nothing to do. They, they got rid of Dumpy Dump because she talks too much. And she makes mistakes. Like like signing on to uh, Science Girl's chat with the scoop. Now, how did Science Girl know it was Dumpy Dump? <laughs> she said, well, she signed on and it was the scoop. So, how? Did, I mean, how did she know it was Dumpy Dump? There's no way I'm not going to believe that M.M. had something to do with that. Not after this. Mm -mm. She knew it was going to happen. She uploaded a call to cover her ass. And it doesn't cover her ass. It makes you look worse. And then you're going on it. You're lying. This this is a fucking lie right here. Mm -mm. Incorrect info. How is it in, in, incorrect info when CPS came to my house? Oh, well, she didn't. She didn't really call CPS. It wasn't, it wasn't CPS. It doesn't matter, motherfucker. She went real life. Can you agree on that? She called the police, and you called my police department too, real lifer. How would you like if people started calling around checking on you? How would you like if somebody emailed a detective about you? And they come back and say, hey, it wasn't me. How would you like that shit? Didn't you didn't you go through a fucking CPS call? After the fact? After the fact, didn't you get a CPS call? How's it feel, bitch? How's that fucking feel, motherfucker? How's it feel, bitch? I got nothing for you. Nothing for you. You're a fucking liar, makeup mobster. You're a liar. I could read right through this shit right here. You should have never left that post, dumbass.